Get Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Thursday, January 26, 2023. Number one, House Democratic Caucus members held a news conference Wednesday following Speaker Kevin McCarthy's move to block Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell from serving on the House Select Intelligence Committee. Speaker McCarthy said the decision was not based on political payback because integrity matters and they have failed in that place. Political observers can say this counterpunch was not expected by House Democrats after former Speaker Nancy Pelosi's decision to remove Republican members from committees during the last congressional session. Number two, the Department of Defense announced a military research contract this week to fund Howard University $90 million to research applications of tactical autonomous technology artificial intelligence in specific roles of defense. The announcement represents the first university-affiliated research center associated with one of America's historically black colleges and universities and the first sponsored by the Air Force. Many federal and state grants require universities to be what's known as R1 institutions to be considered for funding. However, there are currently no HBCUs with that designation. Number three, Dr. John Witcher, a Mississippi doctor who leads a group of physicians opposed to COVID-19 vaccine mandates, has filed paperwork to challenge Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves in the state's Republican primary. Witcher has said he was fired from a Mississippi hospital in 2021 after switching patient's COVID-19 medication to ivermectin, the anti-parasite drug that is not authorized by the FDA and research shows it does not work against COVID-19. February 1st is the qualifying deadline for an election that will include statewide offices, state district offices, legislative seats, and county offices. The general election is November 7th with runoffs on November 28th. Number four, Tyree Nichols, a 29-year-old black man, was beaten by five Memphis, Tennessee black police officers January 7th during a traffic stop for alleged reckless driving. Mr. Nichols died of his injuries three days later. Body camera footage of the fatal attack has been viewed by Nichols' family along with attorneys Ben Crump and Antonio Romanucci. The video has not been released yet to the public. The Memphis Police Department fired the five black police officers involved in the incident concluding the department's internal investigation. Number five, a proposed bill introduced in the 2023 Colorado legislative session seeks to add yearly in-person mental health assessments for students ranging from sixth grade to seniors in high school. The House bill, otherwise known as the School Mental Health Assessment, would have voluntary mental health evaluations administered by the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment. Lawmakers say the primary form of pushback on the bill has been that children at age 12 can consent to mental health assessment even if their parents do not. The proposed bill is set for a hearing item on February 7th. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Surround yourself with people who feed your creativity. Come on in, y'all. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with our mental health and wellness contributor, Aprilette Russell, and her guest, licensed therapist, Tracy Barry McGee, as we talk about today's top headlines and more. To subscribe to my free daily...